Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the gradient editor to create a new gradient, edit a preset gradient, or delete a gradient. You can also modify the existing gradients, blending more colors that you like into the existing gradients. You can click the gradient sample that appears within the tool options bar after selecting the gradient tool within the toolbox to launch the gradient editor, or simply click the edit button in the tool options bar. To create a new gradient based on one of the preset gradients, click on the preset gradient that you want to use as your sample. You will see the gradient used in the preset display at the bottom of the gradient editor dialog box. You can create your gradient in this area. You can select if you want the gradient to be solid or have noise by selecting your choice from the type drop-down. You can type a name for your new gradient into the name text box. Let's look at the options that we have if we select Solid. If you select Solid, you can then set the smoothness of the entire gradient by using the Smoothness drop-down to set the slider to the percentage of smoothness that you want. At that point, you can create your gradient by manipulating the various color stops, opacity stops, and midpoints on the sample gradient that is displayed. The color stops determine what colors will display in your gradient. You can click on the bottom row of color stops to add a new color stop. You can delete a color stop by clicking it to select it and then clicking the delete button in the lower right corner of the dialog box. To edit the color within a color stop, Click on the color stop to select it, and then click the color drop down at the bottom of the dialog box. That will launch the color picker dialog box where you can select a new color for the color strip. Note that if you want to change the position of the color stop within the gradient, you can click and drag it to slide it to a new location in the color stops bar. Also note that when you click on a color stop, you will see a small gray diamond appear. This is the color midpoint, and it determines where the color changes between the various color stops in the color stops bar. You can also click and drag these color midpoint diamonds to new locations on the color stops bar to change where the colors shift between two color stops. Now if you would like to add transparency to a gradient, then you must change the opacity stops at the top of the gradient sample. You can add and remove opacity stops in the same way that you add color stops. Just click into the opacity bar side of the gradient sample to add a new opacity stop. You can delete them by clicking on them to select them and then clicking the delete button in the lower right corner of the dialog box. If you wish to change the opacity level of an opacity stop, then click it to select it. Then click the opacity drop down and change the opacity percentage with the slider as needed. This can add various transparent and opaque gradient areas to the gradient if desired. When the gradient looks the way that you would like, just click the Add to Preset button to save the gradient as a new preset gradient for future use. If you don't want to save it, you can just click OK to go use the selected gradient with the gradient tool. Now if you selected the Noise Gradient Type from the Type drop-down, 
What you will create is a gradient that contains randomly distributed colors within the color range that you specify. You first set the roughness of the gradient by using the drop-down slider provided. The higher the number, the more color striations appear in the gradient. In the Color Model drop-down, you select which color model you want to use for the gradient, RGB or HSB. Then you use the three color sliders below to change the possible color range used by the gradient. To the right of that, you can also check the Restrict Colors checkbox to prevent the colors from oversaturating, and also check the Add Transparency checkbox to add transparency to the gradient if desired. Once you have the settings the way that you would like, you can click the Randomize button to reproduce a new gradient sample with the settings that you specify. When the gradient sample looks the way that you like, you can once again click either the Add to Preset button to save it as a new preset, or you can simply click the OK button to apply the gradient with the gradient tool. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.